Good evening, welcome to Thursday's evening prayer. My goodness me, the week is almost done and I'm still working on Monday stuff. I don't know. A few brains, I could be dangerous, you know. But I've got enough brains to say, enough brains to say, let's come before the Lord and bring him our prayers. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, Lord, make, make haste, haste to help us. us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your glory, glory is, is proclaimed, proclaimed in all the world. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. You gave your Christ as a light to the nations, and through the anointing of the Spirit you established us as a royal priesthood as you call us into your marvellous light. May our lives bear witness to your truth and our lives, our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be, be God, God Father, Son. And, oh, blessed be God forever, yeah. I'm, I'm not firing on any cylinders tonight. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. It could be interesting. <laughs> oh dear. As our evening prayer rises before you, O oh God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 61 Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. In despair and far from home, I call to you. Take me to a safe refuge, for you are my protector, my strong defence against my enemies. Let me live in your sanctuary all my <coughs> life. Let me find safety under your wings. You have heard my promises, O God, and you have given me what belongs to those who honour you. Add many years to the king's life. Let him live on and on. May he rule forever in your presence, O God. Protect him with your constant love and faithfulness. So I will always sing praises to you as I offer you daily what I have promised. Psalm 65 O oh God, it is right for us to praise you in Zion and keep our promises to you, because you answer prayers. People everywhere will come to you on account of their sins. Our faults defeat us, but you forgive them. Happy are those whom you choose, whom you bring to live in your sanctuary. We shall be satisfied with the good things of your house, the blessings of your sacred temple. You answer us by giving us victory, and you do wonderful things to save us. People all over the world and across the distant seas trust in you. You set the mountains in place by your strength, showing your mighty power. You calm the roar of the seas and the noise of the waves. You calm the uproar of the peoples. The whole world stands in awe of the great things that you have done. Your deeds bring shouts of joy from one end of the earth to the other. You show your care for the land by sending rain. You make it rich and fertile. You fill the streams with water. You provide the earth with crops. This is how you do it. You send abundant rain on the ploughed fields and soak them with water. You soften the soil with showers and cause the young plants to grow. What a rich harvest your goodness provides. Where you go there is plenty. The pastures are filled with flocks. The hillsides are full of joy. The fields are covered with sheep. The valleys are full of wheat. Everything shouts and sings for joy. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and, and shall be forever. Amen. 
Genesis chapter 3. Now the snake was the most cunning animal that the Lord God had made. The snake asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat fruit from any tree in the garden? We may eat of any of the fruit of the, any tree in the garden, the woman answered, except the tree in the middle of it. God told us not to eat the fruit of the, that tree or even touch it. If we do, we will die. The snake replied, that's not true. You will not die. God said that because he knows that when you eat it, you will be like God and know what is good and what is bad. The woman saw how beautiful the tree was and how good its fruit would be to eat. And she thought how wonderful it would be to become wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some of the fruit to her husband and he also ate it. As soon as they had eaten it, they were given understanding and realised that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and covered themselves. That evening they heard the Lord walking in the garden and they hid from him among the trees. But the Lord God called out to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden. I was afraid and hid from you because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat the fruit that I told you not to eat? The man answered, the woman you put here with me gave me the fruit and I ate it. The Lord God asked the woman, why did you do this? She replied, the snake tricked me into eating it. Then the Lord God said to the snake, you will be punished for this. You alone of all the animals must bear this curse. From now on you will crawl on your belly and you will have to eat dust as long as you live. I will make you and the woman hate each other. Her offspring and yours will always be enemies. Her offspring will crush your head and you will bite her offspring's heel. And he said to the woman, I'll increase your trouble in pregnancy and your pain in giving birth. In spite of this, you will still have the desire for your husband, yet you will be subject to him. And then he said to the man, you listened to your wife and ate the fruit which I told you not to eat. Because of what you have done, the ground will be under a curse. You will have to work hard all your life to make it produce enough food for you. It will produce weeds and thorns. and You will have to eat wild plants. You will have to work hard and sweat to make the soil produce anything until you go back to the soil from which you were formed. You were made from soil and you will become soil again. Adam named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all human beings. And the Lord God made clothes out of animal skins for Adam and his wife and he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, now these human beings have become like one of us and have knowledge of what is good and what is bad. They must not be allowed to take fruit from the tree that gives life. Eat it and live forever. So the Lord God sent them out of the Garden of Eden and made them cultivate the soil from which they had been formed. Then at the east side of the garden he put living creatures and a flaming sword which turned in all directions. This was to keep anyone from coming near the tree that gives life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You, you created all things, O God, God, and are, are worthy of our praise forever. forever. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain. And by your blood you were ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one, one who sits, sits on the throne and to the, the Lamb, be blessing, blessing and honour and glory and, and might for ever and ever. Amen. You, you created, created all things, O God, 
and are worthy of our praise for ever. Matthew 22 verses 1 to 14 Jesus again used parables in talking to the people. The kingdom of heaven is like this. Once there was a king who prepared for a wedding feast for his son. He sent his servants to tell the invited guests to come to the feast, but they didn't want to come. So he sent other servants with this message for the guests. My feast is ready now. My steers and prize calves have been butchered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But the invited guests paid no attention and went about their business. One went to his farm, another to his store, while others grabbed the servants, beat them and killed them. The king was very angry, so he sent his soldiers, who killed those murderers and burned down their city. Then he called his servants and said to them, My wedding feast is ready, but the people I invited did not deserve it. Now go to the main streets and invite to the feast as many people as you can find. So the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find, good and bad alike and the wedding hall was filled with people. The king went in to look at the guests and saw a man who was not wearing wedding clothes. Friend, how did you get in here without wedding clothes? The king asked him, but the man said nothing. Then the king told the servants, tie him up hand and foot and throw him outside in the dark. There he will cry and gnash his teeth. And Jesus concluded, many are invited, but few are chosen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Arise, shine, shine for, for your light has come. come. The, the glory, glory of the, the Lord, Lord is rising, rising upon you. God's salvation has been openly shown to all people. The glory, glory of, of the Lord, Lord is rising upon you. you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Arise, Arise shine, for your light, light has come. come. The, the glory, glory of the Lord, Lord is rising upon you. you. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down their mighty, the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. Father God, we come before you this night with our prayers and as we look at all that is happening in this nation, in this world of ours, as the weather is as variable as ever it can be and one moment we're told it's going to be seasonably unseasonable and now we're seeing in places in this country 
ambulance services de and NHS declaring emergencies as the snow stops them from getting out and doing things. Father, we pray for those this night who live in places that are unseasonably and unhelpfully cold. We pray for those who are contained within their homes and for those who will work in maybe adverse conditions tonight. Father, we thank you for our day and all that it has been. And we pray that as we come to you now, you will bless us as we come to praise and bless you. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we pray for peace tonight. We pray for peace in our own homes and in our own hearts. Mm -hmm. That we would find within us that peace which the world cannot give but which comes from you to mm. lift us above the despair or the disappointment or the boredom that we may be feeling. Lord, a sense of well-being a sense of knowing that all is well and all will be well because you mm. are God and where you are there is life where you are there is plenty mm. where you are there is an abundance if we will only turn to you and accept from you and trust in you to provide Lord we pray tonight that you would that you would come and you would be God in our lives mm. and in our homes and in our communities in our country and in our world Lord that more and more people would know the blessings that you bring mm. and that as we discover those blessings for ourselves Lord may we always be ready and willing to share them with others Lord in your mercy hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. Father, we pray for the situation in our country as more and more bumps appear in the road between us and Europe as show jumping competitions and horses have been stopped. Now they can't travel from East Yorkshire over to Europe to complete their careers progress and father the same goes for UK musicians as the UK musicians and arts people find that they can't get across and Europe says don't blame us we offered but you didn't want it so Lord more and more things are going wrong Boris Johnson has said today that they will compensate the fishing business for its difficulties in Brexit at this time. And yet, Lord, more and more the ability to trade, the ability to keep businesses going, to keep careers on the right track all seem to be falling to the ground. So Lord, we pray that these teething troubles might end soon. We pray for the situation in Northern Ireland where it seems now the shops are 
beginning to see more and more empty shelves and staples no longer appearing. And if the staple diets go, I don't know what we do. So Father, we, we pray for our country tonight. We pray for the things that cause people pain and push people to the brink of job loss. And we pray for the continued pressures on our retail sectors. We pray for the shops as people are told if you don't wear a mask you can't come in and we pray for the safety of those who have to stop people from coming in father the nation is facing so many changes <clears throat> we pray that you help us to be a force for good a force for positive action lord in your mercy hear our prayer. Father, as we reflect upon our readings tonight, we, remind, we are reminded that you are the God who stills the storm, who tells the wind and the waves to calm down, and you also still the clamour of the people. Yes. So Lord, we pray tonight that you would still the clamour of those who still rail against whatever it is that they're railing against, whether it's yes. the different sides in politics, the clamouring in the US of those who support Trump and those who are clamouring for him to be impeached, the clamouring in our own nation on either side of Brexit, on either side of Covid, Lord, everywhere we look, people clamour. People want to be right. People want to be heard. People fight to be seen, to be on top. And Lord, we pray that you would still the clamour of the people, the clamour of the nations. Lord, we welcome your peace. Yes. We welcome your spirit who brings peace. Yes, Lord. Mm. Your son who is revealed as the Prince of Peace. Lord, we pray for our ambulance services, especially those in Yorkshire that have been hit by snow. Yes. But throughout the country who are struggling because of the the overwhelming demand placed upon them. Lord, we pray for our stretched health service our overstretched teachers and education service and we pray for those children those families who rely upon free school meals that they would not have to go without Lord may we as a country not just look to our government but may we take responsibility ourselves mm. to provide for our friends and our neighbours and those we know who may be struggling. And 
May we put aside selfishness that looks to just gain something better for ourselves, which was the original sin in the garden. And may we look to the needs of others. May we look to share what we have. May we look to provide for those around us. For in doing so, we become your people truly. Mm. Your hands, your feet, your voice, yes, Lord. your provision. And we know we will see your blessings. We know we will see your miracles. We know there will be plenty. There will be more than enough mm. if we share. As you share your blessings with us. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah, hear our prayer. prayer. We lay before you this evening the needs of the world, of the nations, for its natural habitat, for its resources, for the people upon this earth. And we pray for the situations in places where war, conflict, refugee camps and so many other things that we with our first world problems do not understand mm -hmm. cause concern and trouble at this time we pray for those across the globe with HIV and COVID and other illnesses before them for the situation in Kenya where so often we find natural occurrences causing problems and as the skies darken with more and more winged animals flying in as once again it's time for the things that eat the things on the trees to arrive Lord we pray for our loved ones we pray for our friends and families we pray for their needs for their mental physical, emotional and spiritual well-being. For the young and the old and all in between, we pray that your light, your love, most of all your health will be theirs. And Lord, we who have resourced to so much, may we share that with those who have little. And we pray for ourselves asking that you will help us to be the people Jesus died to <coughs> make us. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our, our prayer. prayer. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. <coughs> Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, <coughs> who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Believing in the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thanks for being with us, guys. Stay safe. Anything we can do to help, 
don't hesitate to contact us. <coughs> Bye.